All right. Well, the president, uh, the last person we're really uh, hoping to hear from in this drama, is expected to either address the press, maybe put out another tweet. He has uh, said this shutdown that looks inevitable by late tonight is on the Democrats, even though he said he would own it by forcing this uh, five billion dollar wall funding. Be that as it may, uh, we are waiting to hear uh, from him on this uh, to Utah Republican Congressman Chris Stewart for the time being. Um, Congressman, isn't this on the president, though? I mean, he freely volunteered that, so well, isn't that uh, the case? Yeah, I, I think he may have regret using those exact words. But look, uh, no one wants to see a shutdown. It is disruptive. I would maybe correct two phrases that we use all the time. One is a wall, and it's not going to be a physical wall. It's border security is what we're talking about. And the second thing is government shutdown. It's not government shutdown. It's a partial shutdown and something that, again, I know is disruptive, but we want to avoid. But it's not the end of the world. But I don't think, Neil, I don't think people really care whose it is, whether it's the Schumer shutdown or the president's. I think they want to know why. Why? And when most Americans understand the reason why, they think that's nuts. Why in the world would the Democrats not support border security and just that fundamental responsibility of knowing who's entering our country? Yeah, well, they all, obviously both uh, sides have different versions of border security, to your point. And I, I, you've obviously uh, taken a different look. It's not a wall per se. And um, I, I think we're, we get caught up in semantics. The, the president himself seems to be talking now about steel beams and a structure that wouldn't necessarily necessarily be mile for mile along the, the 2,000 mile border and I, I, I understand that but it sounds like he is trying to reposition this as well. Too little, too late? What do you think? No, I mean, it's never too little, too late in government, for heaven's sakes. Uh, I mean, we've been this every year or every other year. And, you know, if I could make this point, and that is there is a way to fix this, and it's something I've argued on your show and others for a couple of years, and that is get rid of the filibuster rule in the Senate for appropriations bills. If we're doing a, a leg piece of legislation that's going to last forever, I get that 60 votes. I, I respect that if that's what they choose to do. But for annual appropriations bills, which only purpose is to fund our government from one year to the next. Why in the world do we continue to find ourselves every December in this threat of a shutdown? Why can't we just do what we do in the House, and that's 51 votes, fund the government for that year, and not have all of this drama? I think the president is right when he calls on Mr. McConnell to at least consider that option. You know, you mentioned the drama, Congress, and I'm just wondering whether the president provides a little bit of it, maybe not by design or that wasn't his original intent. But between the revolving door at the White House right now and another key cabinet member leaving, I'm talking about the defense secretary, yeah. um, there is a concern that maybe the wheels are off the administration's wagon here. That might be an overstatement and it might be, for example, the markets overreacting to this. But are you concerned that, that a lot of this it rests with the president? Well, I mean, some of it certainly does, to be fair. And, uh, and, I, and I support the president. I respect the policies, and I really mean that. The things that he's been able to accomplish are remarkable. But sometimes he makes it harder for himself and, frankly, harder for me and others than it needs to be. And, uh, you know, I use the word drama. I was talking about the shutdown, not necessarily referring to the president. But General Mattis is someone that I have tremendous respect for. And, and we're going to miss him. I hope we can find someone equally as good. I, I disagree with the president's position on Syria right now. And so, look, in the give and take of government, there are positions which I will agree or disagree with the president, be he a Republican or Democrat. But once again, I don't think we want to make it harder. And sometimes we've done that to ourselves. No, we have, sir. We have done just that. Thank you very, very much. I hope you still have a good Christmas sometime with your family. Thank you.